What is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at Noah More Parties. And we are back with another Thursday Night Football prize picks video. We got five prop bets here, part of uh, Price Picks' flex play. We're trying to 10x our money. It's been a while. We did it like three times earlier in the season. Haven't done it in a while. So hopefully Seattle versus the 49ers. We can do it. Let's go. Uh, the first line I like is Brock Purdy, 15 fantasy points. I like the over in his two games as the, I guess he didn't start in the first game, but his two like nearly full games as the 49ers quarterback, he's put up 15 and like 21 and a half. He's, he's, he's averaging 18.5 in two games as the 49ers quarterback. He went over 15 in both games. One of those was against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a top 10 defense against quarterbacks. Meanwhile, the Seahawks rank 21st against quarterbacks. So I like Brock Purdy to go over 15 fantasy points. Not a very high bar. I think he can do it. The next line I like is Christian McCaffrey, 21 and a half fantasy points. I like the over. He's averaging exactly 21 and a half fantasy points per game with the 49ers and has gone over this line in three of seven games with the 49ers, but he has at least 28 fantasy points in both of his last two games. Both of those games were without Jimmy G with Brock Purdy at quarterback and Seattle is the worst team in the league in fantasy points given up to running backs, including being bottom six in rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, receptions, and receiving yards to running backs. Seattle is in the bottom six of the league in all of those categories. Plus Debo Samuel is going to be out this week, which means, you know, production spread around the skill position players in San Francisco, which I think particularly benefits Christian McCaffrey as the main rushing option and as the, or at least one of the main passing options in like the short areas of the field where Debo Samuel does a lot of his damage. So Debo Samuel out means, you know, perhaps a larger role for Christian McCaffrey. Even if Debo wasn't out, Christian McCaffrey has been productive enough to hit this line with the 49ers, especially recently. I like him to go over 21.5 fantasy points. The next line I like is DK Metcalf, 61.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 66.8 this season, including 89.8. So basically 90 receiving yards per game in the last month. And San Francisco gives up the seventh most receiving yards to wide receivers in the NFL. They're a stingy defense, you know, on a relative basis overall. Yards given up to wide receivers, they're not bad per se, but they've given up a lot, um, including 91 to DeAndre Hopkins, 146 to Tyreek. Those are just in the last like month or so. 97 to Cortland Sutton earlier this year, 122 to Cooper Cup, uh, 124 to Juju in the same game that MVS went for 111. Like they are, you know, beatable this secondary. DK Metcalf is a freak. He's been productive. I think he can do it. The next line I like is Kenneth Walker, 13.5 fantasy points. I like the under. He's averaging 13.6 this season. So basically right at this line, just 11.2 fantasy points per game though in the last month. And if you look at this from like a season long perspective, he's gone over this line in just, just under half of his games. But in like recent games, the last month, he's gone over this in just a third of his games in the last month. He's averaging 3.37 yards per carry since week eight. He was like awesome in the middle of the season after Rashad Penny went down. Lately, he's had a really rough time. He's got two games in that stretch where he averaged less than two yards per carry in each game on like 15 carries in each game. He's also coming off an ankle injury. He missed the game last week. He was on the injury report earlier this week. He's been a, a full participant in practice, um, at least on Wednesday. So you know, he's he's not carrying an injury designation going into the game, but he's still coming off an injury and hasn't been productive even before he was missing games due to injury. And he's now playing against the defense that gives up the fewest rushing yards and the fewest fantasy points to running backs. It just isn't looking good for Kenneth Walker this week, given the circumstances. I like the under on 13 and a half fantasy points. The last line I like is a little bit out of the box. We'll see where it goes. Uh, the Seattle defense, 2.5 sacks. I like the under. They're averaging 2.6 per game this season. Again, right at this line, just 1.8 in the last month. They've gone over two sacks in just one of their last four games. And San Francisco has allowed the fifth fewest sacks in the league. And they've allowed more than two sacks in just four out of their 13 games and just one time since week nine. So San Francisco doesn't give up a lot of sacks. Seattle uh, doesn't really sack the quarterback that much. It's a good, good pairing here for a low sack game from the Seattle defense. So those are the five. That is Brock Purdy, fantasy points, over. Christian McCaffrey, fantasy points, over. DK Metcalf, receiving yards, over. Kenneth Walker, 
fantasy points under, Seattle defense, sacks under. I have two honorable mentions for the good people. Uh, The first one is Tyler Lockett, 14 fantasy points. I like the over. He's averaging 15.7 this season, 18 and a half in the last month. He's gone over this line in eight games this season out of the 14 that he's played and in three straight games and in five of his last six. He's been pretty good this season. And just like I talked about with DK Metcalf, like this defense is giving up yards to wide receivers. They're bottom 10 in fantasy points given up to wide receivers. Bottom 10 meaning like they've given up the in the top 10 most bottom 10 of being good at that um so i like tyler lockett to be relatively productive this week and the last line i like this honorable mention is geno smith 21.0 completions. I like the over. He's averaging 23 and a half completions per game on the season, almost 25 in the last month, 24.8. He's only gone under this line in four games this season, and he had 21 completions last week, so he was right at this line last week, but before that, he'd gone over this in five straight games. San Francisco is slightly above average in terms of uh, attempts and completions against them, and when I say above average, I mean they've given up slightly more than the average team. This is not a particularly, like, the San Francisco defense is good, but giving up a completion isn't inherently, like, bad for a defense. So, I like Geno Smith to uh, complete more than 21 passes. So, there you have it. Tyler Lockett, points, over. Geno Smith, completions, over. Those are the two honorable mentions. Um, Have a great, great Thursday night. See you next week. (laughs) 